Hey Android fans, today I'm going to be reviewing one of my favorite, uh, could call it a widget, could call it an app launcher, um, but it's more than just either one of those. Um, you can app, uh, launch apps, you can launch shortcuts, you can even launch other widgets um, with it. It's called Wave Launcher. Uh, there are several apps that uh, sort of do the same same or similar type of things. Um, Circle Launcher is a widget that uh, does similar things, launches various apps, but uh, doesn't have quite the functionality that Wave Launcher has and that it's always accessible. Um, there is There are a few other uh, applications that do have sort of a similar uh, concept and that uh, they're meant to be able to launch an app or, or a shortcut uh, from wherever you are on your home screen or even within other applications. But none that I have found that are as good at doing it as Wave Launcher. Um, I, I downloaded Wave Launcher kind of thinking, oh, I'd give it a try, um, but I don't really need it. But it's, it's definitely one of my favorite uh, of these type of apps. So, rather than me talking about it, let's get on my phone so I can just uh, show you exactly why I think it's such a cool app and an app that everybody would benefit from having. So, uh, let's take a look. Okay, so here you see my home screen. Here's what's great about Wave Launcher. When I want to launch anything that's on my Wave in Wave Launcher, I press and hold in this corner and then I swipe up and the wave magically appears with these various options. I've got uh, apps such as my camcorder, I've got uh, shortcuts such as SoundHound uh, ID so that will open the shortcut so that uh, as soon as it opens it starts listening. Uh, uh, you can add a contact this is a contact, so a shortcut, which uh, allows me, uh, it's actually a shortcut through fo folder organizer, so that if I open that, I can then call or text. This is my flashlight app, my voice recorder app. Obviously, the things I put on here are things that I would maybe want quick access to no matter where I am. Um, and what's cool about this, you can even put widgets on this. This is a widget, it's a Google Voice inbox, you see, shows up right there. And this is a uh, Weatherbug Elite widget that shows a weather map. So that's what Wave Launcher is. What's great is that it functions anywhere. So I can go anywhere on my home screen and bring it up. I can even be inside of another app. Let's uh, open up Redbox. And once that gets open, you see I'm in red box, blah, 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 blah. I can still press here in the corner and pull up wave launcher. What's great is that when I press there in the corner, I press and then I feel a vibration. When I feel that vibration, I know that wave launcher is ready to launch. What's great about that is if you accidentally hit in that corner or you're hitting that corner to do something else on your screen, it doesn't do anything. Um, I had a similar app like this that put a little icon over here and that icon was just kind of uh, transparent and it was always there and you could tap it at any time and then it would open up so that you could get to different apps and shortcuts and things. And, uh, and that was kind of cool but the problem is I would find myself tapping it accidentally like for example if I wanted to tap that red arrow to open this up I might tap the little uh, grayed out uh, uh, button for the launcher and open up those apps. So uh, what's great about Wave Launcher is that if you tap here, it's not going to do anything. You got to tap, feel the vibration, and then swipe up, and that's how you bring up your Wave. But it's uh, it's also very configurable, um, which is great. So 
you can add anything you want to it and you can configure the way it works, the color, all that good stuff. So let's go into the app and I will show you the different functions. Uh, we go to Wave Launcher. I'm going to open it up. There we go. And you see, you can edit the wave, you can calibrate, uh, and you can play with settings. Uh, if you edit the wave, basically, that allows you to drag over, and I can change what that does. Um, when you select something to add to that, it will ask you if you want it to uh, create a folder and leave uh, SoundHound in there and then add something else to it add what you just selected to it or if you want to replace so you can create folders on this wave if you wanted to create say five folders and one of them was uh, all your games one of them was something else you could do that as a way to launch uh, of course if you have something like fold folder organizer then you could already have all your games in a folder and then on wave launcher just create a shortcut to that folder but wave launcher itself allows you to create folders on the wave which is uh, really awesome could be a Good way to organize uh, your apps and clean up your home screen if you want to. Up here, right now, we're on under Applications, which is that first button. If you tap the second button, that brings up your optional shortcuts that you can enter onto there. Any app that uh, allows you to create a shortcut. The third button is the widget button. That takes a little bit longer to come up. There you go. And then you can select a widget to put on your wave, as you saw with the Google invoice. And then the last one is an app drawer. And what that does is if you uh, add that to your wave, when you if you select that, then it just opens up an app drawer just like the app drawer you're used to on your Android phone where it shows all of your applications. You can also have plugins. Uh, Contaps is the featured plugin. There's a few other apps that have plugins. If an app has a plugin to Wave Launcher, then it allows you, it just gives you additional things you can place on the Wave. Uh, so if you had Contaps, then there's different contact type of uh, uh, folders and things you could create to put on the Wave. Um, you can calibrate it. And this is to calibrate, as you see, I have a little red. That's showing you, that's what I've set up. I've set up to have little that little spot right there is where I have to press and hold to uh, uh, launch my wave. But you can do it a lot of different ways. You can have it be longer. So you could have it go all the way across uh, uh, to the middle. You, could, you can have the swipe happen from the left to the right. Um, you could have it even be all the way across if you wanted to be able to touch anywhere at the bottom hold. Um, for me, I found that being down here in the bottom left is perfect because, it's, as you saw, it's easy for me. I don't have to fiddle around to try to figure out where it is. It's really easy, but it's not in the way. It's something that I'm not going to accidentally activate. It's, it's there for me when I want it. Easy to start up, but not something that I'm going to start up accidentally. But you can configure this. You can configure this however you want to, to create uh, the size, the location, and, uh, and what gesture you want, whether it's swiping up, swiping left, or swiping right. So you can play around with that, whatever works best for you, but it's great that they give you that option. And then colors just allows you to change the color of the wave, or it can change the label, or the label background. So you can you can completely configure the colors of it. I've got mine the, the colors that I like, so I'm going to leave them alone. And then settings. Um, enable on startup. Probably something you want because you want it to be there when you need it. Uh, you can disable it in landscape mode uh, or have it work in landscape mode. Uh, close notification bar. Tapping the gesture area will close the notification bar, so if you tap in that area, it will close. 
Uh, persistent notification, that will place a little uh, icon in the uh, notification bar and it just keeps Wave Launcher active in the background. It helps keep your Android system from killing the process so that it is always available. Uh, if you use that, you can also make the icon invisible so that even though it's persistent notification, the icon doesn't actually show in, in your bar. Um, however, I, as you can see, I don't have that checked and I've never ran into a problem. Um, if you have a lot of stuff running on your phone and so your phone's having to constantly kill uh, processes in order to make room for new processes, then that might be an issue. And uh, if you find that you're tapping it or, or touching it where uh, you should and nothing's happening, it's probably because Android killed it and you might want to use persistent notification. But uh, I don't use it and it works fine for me. I've, it's never been a problem. It's always been there when I needed it. Um, you can set the uh, action. Long press action is a action to perform when the gesture is long pressed. I have none. But if you, you can set it so that if you long press this red button, you enter automatically into the move it or resize it mode. Or you can have it so that if you long press it, the app drawer opens. And then you can set the time it takes for that to happen. Um, I think it's easy enough to get to the app drawer if I need to get to the app drawer. And I don't want to, again, if you had that, then you might accidentally press it too long before you start dragging up and cr do this action instead of launching the wave like you wanted to. So for me, that's not something that I want, but it might be useful for you. Recents mode, that what that does is it makes the wave show not only the apps that you've added to the Wave, but also your most recently used apps. So if you wanted to use it as a recently used apps drawer kind of a thing, you could do that. And you can set how many user apps do you want the Wave to have and how many recent apps do you want the Wave to have. Um, right? I only have user apps, and I think I have six, seven on there. To me, that's the perfect number, but you can have a ton on there if you want in addition to being able to create folders. Um, let's see, you can enable Smart Recents, which just shows all your recent apps. And you can have Recent Exclude List. So that is, you can choose certain apps that you don't want to show up on your Wave as recent apps, whether you've recently opened them or not. And then back in here, the Wave Settings, again, it allows you to select the color and also the transparency of the Wave. You can select the animation. There's different animations you can have. Uh, I have quick fade and zoom. You can play with those and see which one you like the best. Uh, they're not all that much different from each other and really not the most important part of this as it is really more about functionality. But you know, I love it when developers have a very functional app and then they throw in the little extra things allowing you to configure it the way you want to like the colors and the animation that just enhances an app if it's a good app to begin with and this is user apps indicator so that's a like a color led to be shown next to a user app so it can uh, uh, show uh, what apps are user apps versus what apps are uh, recently used apps and you can set one for the recent apps as well. You can display the label underneath the app or you could take that away if you don't want it. And you can enable icon transparency uh, effect or you can disable it. Widget hover time. The time it takes from placing the finger on a widget item until the widget is displayed. So that's how long you want it to take. Have it set at 500 milliseconds. Uh, gesture area presets. Um, for the gesture area, if you use this, you could, there are presets that you can use uh, rather than trying to uh, change the, the size and, and placement yourself. You can just choose one of the presets. See, it tells you right here, these are all your choices. I have a custom one that I picked, but you can pick one of these standard ones too if you want. Um, and then you can choose the thickness of the gesture area. That's how thick this is gesture area vibration um, that's what I have enabled I think that is a great feature because it's nice to touch it and feel that vibration so you know okay I just yeah, now I've activated it all I gotta do is swipe up 
and automatically advance on edit. Small thing when you're adding stuff to the wave, once you've uh, changed a particular slot, it'll then automatically jump to the next one. And then you have the plugins, App Drawer, which comes automatically with Wave Launcher. And if you have any other plugins from any other apps, they would show up here as well. No, I did not mean to visit your website. And then you have a help button. If you need help, you can request it there. So again, that's, that's the Wave Launcher. Like I said, it's great because you can put shortcuts. You can put all different kinds of things. If you, like, uh, if you put the widget, you can see I have the widget there. When I let go, the widget's still there. And I can go through, and then when I'm through with it, I can exit out. And with the weather bug widget, see the map, and it's still there. And then when I'm through with it, I can exit out. So if there are widgets that you want to make use of, but, you know, we all, all only have so much screen real estate. So if there's widgets you want to use that you just don't have the screen for, you can, that is a way you can make uh, use of those widgets. It's very easy to use. And if you open it up and then you don't need something, you just swipe back down and it goes away without opening anything. So that is Wave Launcher, uh, which is an app launcher slash shortcut launcher slash widget launcher slash super cool hidden uh, where only you know how to activate it and you can activate it from any home screen or within any other application app. Uh, like I said, it's one of my favorite. I think it's it's one of those things that's it's sort of simple in concept and at the same time brilliant and they've done a great job with it. It's been uh, pretty much excellent and bug free from the beginning but they still have uh, work to uh, update it and improve it um, in little ways uh, over the last year or so that I've had it so I would highly recommend it um, you saw what all I can do and it's it's one of those apps that I think pretty much everybody should have it's uh, something that I think anyone who gets it and adds it to their phone is going to find it uh, useful to have. So anyway, uh, that's Wave Launcher. Again, I am Eric for HollywoodPhoto.com's Android app reviews. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel to see more reviews coming up. Uh, you can also check out my website, uh, HollywoodPhoto.com. Uh, all my reviews are on there as well. Hope you have a great day and we will see you next time.